What's up YouTube, Leeshawn back with another video for you guys. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is taking a look at the new Jeep Grand Cherokee that just got released for 2021. So just start by looking at the whole body of the vehicle in this image right here. It looks like a complete redesign for 2021. The Jeep Grand Cherokee L. So um I want to I kind of want to know why they call it the L. Like what about it is L. So I want to learn about that. This is a first class now third row. So it has a third row which is probably why they call it L meaning larger or extended. I don't believe the previous Jeep Grand Cherokees had a third row. So I think now that they added a third row to it, that's the reason why they called it L. But yeah, um so now third row, all new 2021, and it has 4x4 capability. So pretty much all Jeeps have 4x4 capability, all wheel drive, um, elevated interior, sculpted design for the first time ever, three rows coming in spring 2021. Okay, engineered to elevate. So I'm guessing this one is, uh, it's more for, you can actually go off road in this one because here it says capability features designed for off-road trails, city streets. So it's kind of like an all-in-one new vehicle. Um, and I, I think you could have done this with the previous ones as well. You know, with the right tires, the right setup, you could pretty much take these things anywhere. Um, so let's start off with the Jeep Select Terrain Traction Management System. So it says that this system features five selectable terrain modes that let you press on through rain, snow, or mud with the turn of a dial. So it basically has a, a, a newer and better traction management system for all terrain. So if you live in a place like Massachusetts where it snows, it rains, you get all types of weather in Massachusetts. You could drive that vehicle there all year round. If you live in a place like California where it's just hot all the time, or you know, it rains here sometimes, the rain gets pretty bad sometimes. You could still drive that here. Now, the available maximum towing capacity of 7,200 pounds. And, and that's a lot of weight. That's the weight of at least two cars. Two small cars that weigh about 3,500 pounds. That's what this new uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee L could tow. So definitely a few tons. This vehicle does have a 5.7 liter v8 so it's most likely more updated and you know more revised for 2021 and you go over to the jeep quadra lift suspension system so that's definitely a new system that they worked on for 2021 for the jeep uh grand cherokee l so available electronic adaptive dampening automatic automatically lowers the vehicle at highway speeds to help with drag and also adjust to a range of road conditions for a smooth ride. So um, I've definitely heard of a few other vehicles that do that. I'm not sure if it was one of Porsche's vehicles that, that used to do that or Audi, I'm not too sure, but actually, yeah, it might've been uh, one of the Audi all roads in the past. I believe they used to lower when you go on highway speeds and stuff like that. So that's definitely a cool feature. I mean, this is not a aerodynamic vehicle this is not made for aerodynamic by any means but it's cool that they could actually make the vehicle lower itself at highway speeds to reduce drag because then that's gonna contribute to better gas mileage and you know different ride qualities and stuff like that and you go over to this uh, one here it says available weather fording capability up to 24 inches so Make a splash confidently knowing this vehicle can handle up to two feet of water on the trail or when a surprise flood comes your way. So the vehicle could lower itself, but it could also raise up an extra two inches or 24 inches actually. So that's pretty cool. So it has a lowering and a lifting feature as well. So that's pretty cool. And you go down our grandest interior yet. So classic materials, elevated uh, craftsmanship, and innovative design are united to create a premium cabin experience. New available features like 16-way adjustable power per front seats with memory and massage combined with soft leather, leather trim seats. 
and quad zoned automatic temperature control to keep things cozy. Available ambient lighting sets just the right mood. So after reading this and looking at this image right here, this looks like an amazing interior. So if you look real closely, you can see like a really nice brown wood trim running around the mid portion of the door. And you got your door handle right here to open the door. These look like memory seats right here as well. And you have your, you know, your basic window up down functions right there. And I see, I believe that's a speaker down there for the sound system. And um, the, the whole color of the interior just looks amazing that brown i need to know uh what specific brown that is or what it's called but you look at the the dash you see that there's a nice silver trim running down and there's that same wood uh wood trim from the door right here that's pretty nice and you got some nice little vents right here and then over here you got some more vents you got a nice display i need to know what size i need to figure out what size that display is. and this right here looks like a rotary shift dial to switch um from park to reverse to neutral to drive and stuff like that you got a nice it looks like a piano black color on the center console it looks really nice and then on the passenger seat you see that there's a whole bunch of control one of them could be lumbar this one is for the regular sliding back and forth up down and I'm not sure what this one in the back would do or this one right here. This is actually for to move the, the back of the seat. So that's pretty cool. But that color on the interior is just amazing. That looks really good. And you can see like on the side, like on the side bolsters, it has like a almost like a quilted look. And it's like a triangular pattern. That looks really good. And they said that there were ambient lighting in here. So ambient lighting is a really cool feature for any vehicle, I feel like. I know the Camaros have uh, ambient lighting from, from Chevy. Um, I've never really seen a Jeep in the past with ambient lighting. I know that um, the like the really specked out Jeeps have um, ambient lighting in the cup holders. And that's that's a pretty cool feature. Um, but for Jeep to actually add ambient lighting, that's that's really that's really nice for um, 2021 because a lot of vehicles, especially from BMW, Audi, um, Infiniti, maybe I'm not sure about Infiniti, but I know I know that BMW and Audis have a lot of ambient lighting, like on the doors and like somewhere some in some places up on the dash. So that's really good that Jeep is taking that route too. And it, there's also automatic temperature control. And um, it, it definitely has to be for both uh, driver and passenger. And you would control all that through the center console right here. So let's go down, uh, more seating and more to enjoy. For the first time ever, Grand Cherokee comes with three rows of seating that lets you take more people and pets on your adventures. The interior seats up to seven passengers with spacious second row legroom. So if you look at this image right here, you see that there's a really nice, this is a beautiful white interior. And it's, I can't actually tell what it says on the seat here, but you can see some nice perforations in the seat. So that must mean that the seats are heated and cooled because that's most likely what the perforations in the seats are for the driver and passenger seats and then you can see the second row for the rear passengers and then you can see the third row all the way in the back and it looks like the roof is actually kind of caved in at the top up here so to give more headroom and stuff like that so that's that's actually pretty cool designed with you in mind so i'm guessing they they really tried to to improve this because Designed with you in mind, this means that they're thinking about customers. So, the all new Grand Cherokee L watches your back, front and side. So, that sentence alone just tells me that they had to add some type of system where it monitors from the side, the rear, the front, all angles. So, drive confidently with over 110 standard and available safety and security features including standard forward collision, active lane management, 
blind spot monitoring, cross path, cross path detection, automatic emergency braking, and adaptive cruise control with stop and go across the entire lineup. So yeah, like I said, it's definitely some type of system that you know assists with all these different things that are highlighted in this uh, little paragraph here. So brand new system, you know. Uh, forward collision, side collision, active management, blind spot, you know, cross path. So it probably has that camera system that's in the digital dash. Hopefully it does have a digital dash. From the front, you can see that it kind of looks like the new Ford Explorer, the 2020, 2021 Ford Explorers that have the LED light strip right up here. And you got some nice fog lights. You got that nice nice grill it has one two three four five six seven i believe there's some history behind the jeep's grill i think it means that they um in the beginning the jeep had been to all seven continents in the world or something like that so there's definitely some history behind the jeep grill available active driving assist so um you now have a co-pilot you can count on with hands on the wheel and eyes on the road automated driving this feature uses lane centering with adaptive cruise control so it has that available drowsy driver detection so this system monitors steering wheel movement and will give you an audible alert if you are not correctly handling the wheel or if it detects that the vehicle is off track so that's actually i don't know if a lot of people will actually like that but it's a new system nonetheless so if you're not really paying attention to the wheel it'll you know it'll give you an alert and you know attempt to make you get back into control of the vehicle so that's that's pretty cool all sorts of new technologies for 2021 over here it says available night vision camera so yeah it definitely has that i had a feeling it would have that so thermographic technology and infrared sensors can scan for pedestrians and animals up to 219 yards ahead see their positions outlined in the instrument cluster in front of you so yeah i've definitely seen this uh this type of technology on other vehicles i'm not sure if it's audi or bmw but i've definitely seen that technology on on a few other vehicles i think it was from one brand and i really i'm really not sure if it is audi or Mercedes or BMW. And next to that, it says available intersection collision assist. So be forewarned and forearmed when it comes to potential collisions with inter intersection cross traffic assist. This feature warns you about the oncoming risk and even activate automatic emergency braking. All types of new technology for 21. So I, I wonder what the price for this vehicle would actually be since it has a lot of because technology is not cheap technology actually will cost a pretty penny so innovation at your fingertips so yeah this is the um the new uh infotainment system that they got on here so settle into the techno technological marvel that is the all new grand cherokee l control your entertainment you connect five okay so yeah this is new you connect five I actually talked about that a little bit in my uh, 2021 Dodge Durango SRT video. So that that uh, Dodge Durango actually has that Uconnect 5 system. So Uconnect 5 nav with a 10.1 inch touchscreen. So this is actually a 10.1 inch touchscreen. It's a pretty good size. I love how it's kind of like a piano black material around it, black trim around it. And, right above it you have some other function buttons you have that look like traction control off uh this looks like lane departure assist this is a, like an empty space you have your hazard lights right here let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better yeah so you have uh park assist actually that's park assist and that looks like it looks like a steering wheel with a p i'm not sure what that is but going down and does that say Macintosh and it shows you a little time right here so it has the time it shows you the temperature notification that looks like right here and this looks like you can probably add a profile to it 
and it also shows you the temperature it might be outside or inside of the vehicle it has heated steering wheel heated seats and i believe this side is for the passenger so down here you have your home button uh, you have a button to, cuss to to go to music. This one looks to be climate control, navigation, stuff for your phone, and probably car settings. And then you have some more apps down here. And then right across from that, you have your engine start stop button. Right below that, it looks to, to have some more. This is actually the physical buttons for the climate control. And the sound system, I can't quite see that, so I, I can't say what it is yet. For the first time ever in Grand Cherokee, an available 10.1 inch Link UTA Uconnect system. Enjoy six month trial of Sirius XM. So they have Sirius XM, personalized profile. Like I said, that's what that little uh, symbol up here is. It does have Apple CarPlay. I mean, I would expect a system like this to have Apple CarPlay in 2021. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is a must. So yeah, they do mention Android Auto down here. So you can integrate your phone and you do get a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot on the go. So that's pretty that's pretty cool, man. I like what I like what these car manufacturers are doing. Seeing is believing. And would you look at that? Take a look at that that image right here. And it looks to be a heads-up display projecting something on the dash. So it looks to be given directions here and it looks to be given speed right here. So that's actually pretty nice. Seeing is believing available head up display. That's pretty nice. I love a head up display. Um, So let's read this right here. Keep your eyes on the road with an available full color 10 inch head up display that projects turn by turn navigation, speed and more on your windshield. The head up display is just one in a long list of this vehicle's available safety and security features. I think each car manufacturer should just um, improve this thing, you know, and just put it in every car, but it will cost some money because all this stuff is part of the technology that they put in the car, you know, and you know, this will rev revolutionize vehicles, you know, coming up on these newer years, man, this is the, we're in 2021, so I expect to see a lot more good things like this in vehicles. So this looks to be that there's cameras in the top of the vehicle that looks down on the seats. And I've never seen this in any vehicle before. This is definitely something new. So what it says here, it says, keep watch over what's happening behind you without turning around. A high definition image on the Uconnect screen allows you to zoom into specific seats to see a split screen of multiple seat location. So you can select each seat that you wanna look at. You know, this is a family oriented SUV and you know, if you have four kids in the rear five or even six kids in the rear of the vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to look back there and see what's going on at some point. So the fact that you can look at each seat through a camera that's embedded in the roof that's that's kind of that's cool that's really cool and i'm really curious to see what the price of this vehicle would look like the sound system is in fact called macintosh and you can see it right here macintosh yep it says macintosh so quality resonates so macintosh mx950 entertainment system so this state-of-the-art system created by renowned luxury home audio company macintosh is now available for the first time in a full-size SUV. Turn your cabin into a concert hall with 17-channel amplifier delivering up to 950 watts of power, 19 custom-designed speakers, and a 10-inch subwoofer. So this sound system has to be one of the best because, I mean, I've heard of Macintosh in the past. I didn't know that they made sound systems. So, I mean, I would expect that this thing would sound pretty pretty nice pretty amazing in there inside that interior and would you just look at how that looks how it's designed you know look at that it looks i don't know if this actually raises up like it spins out like on some of the mercedes uh stuff like the mercedes one they kind of like rotate out from the side and they come out they light up the tweeters i believe that that does that in the a pillar but this is actually cool to see i want to see what it would look like in person so let's scroll down a little bit more. 
And here you have a few images to open that up. This is a nice metallic gray color and you have some nice wheels down here. And look at those lines on the hood. That looks pretty nice. This one does have a panoramic roof. It doesn't go all the way back, but it goes, it looks like it starts from the front passenger, the two, the driver and the passenger, and it goes back to that second row right by the, the rear doors. I scroll through these images, so. And there go that beautiful interior, and that looks to be a digital dash. Look at that steering wheel, it looks so good. With that same wood trim that goes from the door all the way across the dash, that's pretty nice. And you have all your buttons right there. It looks to be cruise control, lane assist, and some other buttons right here. Then you have your navigation buttons right here, your call hang up button, your accept call button. And I'm not sure what this button is right here. But this looks like a nice, really nice steering wheel, nice and big. And there is some piano black trim at the bottom of it. It would have probably been cool to see that it had a nice little flat bottom, but at the same time, this is not a performance SUV, so you would not need a flat bottom. But overall, the interior just looks really nice. And like I said, that rotary shift dial, you have a little digital screen right here. It displays the gears that you're in, so park, reverse, neutral, drive. I can't see what that is, but it looks like a small information screen that is right in the area of the shift, uh, rotary shift dial. And this right here, I'm not sure what those are. And you got some more little buttons and like, this looks like a cup holder. You slide it back and forth and you got your armrest. It looks to be a leather material stitch. I see the stitches right here. And there you go with all your trunk space with the, the last row folded down and the middle row folded down. So look at all the storage you get in here. And you have some, I believe these are buttons to actually fold the seats down. I believe this is a 12 volt outlet right here. Um, and you got some nice, these actually come with some nice gold seat belts or brown, brown, brown to match the interior. And you got a subwoofer back here and you got some more uh, amenities back here as well. This is a nice, uh, actually, it looks gray with nice brown wood trim. So same interior, same everything, it's just different color. I actually like this one a lot. Nice red exterior, different wheels. So you got some tow hooks right here. What are these, some fog lights and Look at these air intake openings right here. These are pretty cool. Turn signals integrated on the on the mirrors as well. It just looks kind of big and beefy. It looks good though. It looks really good. So worry-free maintenance for your peace of mind. So you will automatically be enrolled into Jeep Wave program with the purchase of or lease of any 2021 Jeep brand vehicle. This premium customer care program is valid for 36 months from the date of ownership and provide you with no additional cost, worry-free maintenance, and dedicated 24-7 support along with additional perks. So yeah, that's pretty much the new Jeep Grand Cherokee L. 